Okay, so now we're going to continue um, going through my, my whole movie collection here. Beginning on case three, since we got through cases one and two last night. Um, and I have cases four, five, and six here as well, off to the side of me here, off to my right. And let's get started. Up first is a DVD of The Day the Earth Stood Still. I believe this is a Keanu Reeves movie from 2009. And then there's, a, I have it on Blu-ray as well, A Day the Earth Stood Still. I got the Blu-ray first and then got a DVD separately and decided to keep the Blu-ray case for it um, and get rid of the DVD one and then a DVD case at least and then I have um, Arrow season one uh, like I mentioned oh uh, if all the discs for a particular show or season of a show look the same I'll only show one of the discs per season if they all look the same period then I'll show uh, just one disc at, uh, to begin with. If the discs all look different, as is the case for Arrow Season 2, then I'll show all of them. But all five discs for Arrow Season 1 look the same, so I'll just show you one of them. And then here is Season 2, Disc 1 for Arrow with Oliver Queen on it, or Green Arrow himself. I believe at this point he was still going or being called the Hood Guy, or or just Arrow, one of the two. And this one has uh, Thea Queen, his uh, Arrow's little sister, and uh, Roy Harper, who became Arsenal or the Red Arrow. And then we have uh, Disc Three with Felicity Smoke and John Diggle. Disc 4 with uh, Laurel Lance and Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke. And Disc 5 with Mrs. Queen uh, and Detective Lance. That's Laurel's dad. And all, all five of the discs for Season 3 look the same, so I'll just show you Disc 1 here. And here's Arrow Season 3, Disc 1. Same thing with Season 4, all the discs look the same. They just have uh, Oliver's quiver on the back there. I think season four is where he finally call, or dons the, the name Green Arrow instead of just Arrow or Hood Guy. And then disc season five has five discs as well that all look the same. And that is like this with Oliver Queen on there again. Season seven has five discs. Or, or, or not season six, my bad. Season six has five discs as well that all look like this. It's kind of like a cityscape or something on there. Season seven has five as well, five discs as well, and they're just a flat green color like this. Kind of like a deep navy green or like, or forest camo green or something like that. I guess green wouldn't be the navy. Oh well. I, I'm i not sure what. It's, it's just like a deep foresty green. We'll put it like that. And the even deeper green is used on season 8 that, that only had three discs right here. This is a much darker uh, hold on. a much darker green there. Um, 
for the Adam West Batman TV show, I'll show you one disc per season, even though they look the same, just in different colors. Um, season 1 has 5 discs, and I'll show you disc 4 here. It, uh, season 2 is like this, but green, and Season 3 is like that, but blue. But in between Seasons 1 and 2, we have Batman the Movie. With the bat fight cap that's on the disc there. I have two copies of that, actually. And I want to try and find it on Blu-ray. And here's the green Season 2 discs. There's disc 2, as you can see. There are eight discs in that season. For some reason, they split it in half and had discs one, two, or one through four uh, in one container and five through six in a completely separate container sold separately. Annoying. And then we have season three in a pretty blue color. And I have two copies of Bat of uh, Batman 89, which was Michael Keaton's first Batman movie. I have a, a burned copy like this. And a, an awesome looking Blu-ray with Batman and Jack Nicholson's Joker. I think Jack Nicholson did rather well as Joker. And we have Batman Returns, and, it, and then, of course, Michael Keaton's Batman is very iconic. And then here's the Blu-ray for Batman Returns with Penguin, Danny DeVito, Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Batman, Michael Keaton. Then we have Batman Forever on DVD. In Blu-ray. Uh, I remember her character's name, but I don't know the actress's name. The character is Chase Meridian, Dr. Chase Meridian. And then Batman. And this version of Batman was um, Val Kilmer. Then I have a DVD of Batman and Robin here. And a Blu-ray which has Batman, Robin, and Mr. Freeze on it, with the Batmobile there. Batman and Robin is super cheesy, but I still like it. And then all the discs for Batman the Animated Series look the same, so I'm just going to show one disc from the whole series, and that is Season 1, Disc 1 of 5. And then seasons two and three each had two discs. And season and then there was a special features bonus disc here. And then it came with two Blu-ray um, Batman movies or Batman animated movies. And that is Batman Mask of the Phantasm here. And the my Blu-ray of Batman Sub Zero. Or, or Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. I also have a double feature DVD that has Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero and Batman Beyond the movie on it. And on DVD again, I have Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. And fun fact, in this one, there isn't one Batwoman, there are three. All with the same silver and red costume to uh, totally conceal their identities. And then we have uh, Batman DC Comics Super Villains, uh, Killer Croc. This had, has three episodes on it featuring uh, Killer Croc from the Batman animated series that we just talked about. Um, and the uh, Mask of the Phantasm, sub Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero, and Mystery of the Batwoman are all um, theatrically released extensions of Batman the Animated Series from the 90s. So is the Killer Croc thing there. 
Then I have um, Batman and Friends. I'm not sure if this is part of the the animated series, Batman the animated series or not, but um, the animation style looked the same, so I'm I'm imagining that it probably is. I haven't watched it yet. Then we have um, Gotham season one, which had had six discs that look like this, all on DVD. I have um, the complete series of Gotham on DVD, just like I did for Arrow. And then here's um, season two had six discs as well. I'll show you the last one here. They all look the same. And then season three also has six discs. I'll show you the fifth right here. Season four had five discs and looked like this for Gotham. And season three had only three discs and finally showed the bat signal on the disc there. I haven't seen the whole series, only the, like the first two and two or three seasons maybe. But uh, one of these days I'll re I'll watch the whole series from beginning to end. I just have a lot of other things that I want to try and watch before that happens. Okay, now um, now I'm going to show you all, all my different copies of Batman Begins, uh, The Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. I've got a lot of copies of each one. <laughs> Maybe a little too many, but uh, who knows. Um, starting off, we have DVD copy one for Batman Begins, which had a, a special features disc two here, like that. Then I had got this one in my DVD trilogy pack for Batman Begins, or for the Dark Knight trilogy, I mean, my bad. And then a widescreen DVD, it looked like that. An alternate widescreen DVD, it looked like, like this. Another widescreen DVD that looked like that. Like the first one did. A Blu-ray that looks like the second widescreen version. This one came in the Blu-ray Trilogy Pack, which looks awesome right there. I got the Blu-ray and the DVD Trilogy Packs for uh, like $5 a piece at a Deseret Industries DI store. Great deal. Great deal. And then uh, in my 4K combo or my 4K trilogy pack, each of the Dark Knight trilogy movies had their Blu-ray DVD combo pack type or 4K or excuse me, 4K Blu-ray combo with a Blu-ray special features disc. Here's what the Blu-ray disc looked like for the 4K pack. 4K Trilogy Pack, I should say. Here's the special features disc for that one. And here is what the 4K disc looks like. Very cool. I think Christian Bale did a phenomenal job as Batman. Then we have my first copy of the Dark Knight um, DVD version. Then we have another... DVD, I believe this one is from the DVD trilogy pack that I got for, for them, Dark Knight trilogy movies. And then I got, um, on standalone Blu-ray, I got The Dark Knight again. Uh, it has, come on, show Batman, Batman on it, and the Blu-ray has Joker's face on it, like that. And then... From the Blu-ray Trilogy Pack came these two discs for The Dark Knight. Then in my 4K Trilogy or Trilogy Combo Pack came, or, or 4K Blu-ray Trilogy Pack came this 
for the Blu-ray disc with Joker on it again. This for the second or the special features Blu-ray disc. And Joker on the 4K disc as well. And then for Batman or for the Dark Knight Rises, we have this as my first copy here. First DVD copy, I should say. I got it individually by itself. Then here's another one I got individually by itself, I think. And here's another, or from a DVD Blu-ray or Blu-ray DVD combo pack, we have here's the DVD again for Dark Knight Rises and the Blu-ray and Blu-ray special features discs. They look basically the same as each other. And then uh, here's from the Blu-ray trilogy pack. Um, I'm not going to show the second disc again this, for this one because it looks just like this one does. That says special features instead of movie on it. Then from the 4K combo pack or combo trilogy pack, we have uh, disc uh, the Blu-ray disc with Bane on it right there. Tom Hardy as Bane. Did an alright job. Can't complain. And then here's the special features disc for that one that came with the 4K combo pack. And the 4K disc itself has Bane on it again. Very cool. And then I have uh, I have a slot open for the, a DVD of this next title, which is Batman Gotham Knight, an animated Batman movie. Uh, one of my favorite of the older uh, Batman animated movies. Um, from, I want to say, the late, uh, the late 20 zeros. I want to say like 2007 or 8, something like that, is Batman Under the Red Hood. With a slot for a Blu ray. Then we have Batman and Harley Quinn on DVD and Blu ray. The Blu ray looks like this, but but in black, and, or, but the red is in black instead of red on that one. I'll go ahead and show it anyway, though. Right there. Then we have. Um, Batman Year One, which had two discs and a slot for a Blu-ray there. This is the special features disc. Then I have Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part One and Part Two. These are both animated movies. And then I have a single slot for a combined Blu-ray because if if what I'm imagining is accurate, then um, then what they did there with that is is they pulled a Batman Long Halloween Deluxe Edition and combined parts one and two onto the same Blu-ray disc. So if that ends up being the case, then I'm prepared for only having one slot for it. If that's not the case and they decided to do them separately on Blu-rays, or on two different Blu-rays, then I need to plan it, plan better. And then we have Son of Batman. Batman Assault on Arkham. Batman the Killing Joke. This is one that featured Mark Hamill as the Joker, or as the Joker's voice, like I had mentioned when we talked about child's play in in my previous video. Then we have uh, Batman Ninja. I haven't finished this one because the animation style was kind of distracting from the story itself. Um, yeah. Then we have Batman Gotham by Gaslight. This one turned Commissioner Gordon into Jack the Ripper. 
and was set in in that era where only gas light and gas lights existed and no electricity. Then we have Batman Hush, uh, which is a, a fun little adventure. In this, in that in scenario, uh, the Riddler was Hush trying to make himself look like Bat, like um, Bruce Wayne, to be able to try and claim Bruce's fortune. And then we have Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Actually a pretty good movie. I was a little skeptical about it because it sounds like, like, why would those two characters, or why would those two groups of characters interact? But they pr pulled it off pretty well. That title, or that title will show up again when I, when, when I show um, my best of DC animated movies. Uh, three disc set in case number four or it might even be later in case three actually um, I'm not sure but well yeah I think it's in case four actually never mind then we have uh, Batman Unlimited triple feature Featuring Animal Instincts, Monster Mayhem, and Mechs vs. Mutants, all on the same disc here. Uh, if I can get it to show without glaring, that would be preferable. Uh, I have a slot for a Blu ray for Batman vs. TMNT. Then we have Batman Soul of, uh, Soul of the Dragon, a nice martial arts Batman movie that I found to be quite enjoyable. I do have a slot for a Blu-ray save for that, and I left a slot for a DVD of the next one here, which is Batman Death in the Family. The Blu-ray is interactive, meaning you, um, at certain points during the movie, it gives you an opportunity to, to influence how, it turn, how a particular scene turns out, which is a really fun idea. I like that. And then, like I mentioned with when I talked about Batman The Dark Knight Returns Parts 1 and 2. Here is the deluxe edition of Batman The Long Halloween, which combines Parts 1 and 2, with two slots for individual DVD releases. Then Batwoman Season 1 has four identical discs that look like this. Season or Batman, Batwoman Season 2 has three discs that look like this. I'll just show one of each since they all are, or since the two seasons, between the two seasons, the, the discs per season are identical. Then I have Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. I haven't seen this one all the way through yet. I, I watched like the first half an hour once and then, um, that was when I was trying to prep for for my um, my big DC thirty one on thirty one ranking. So this one kind of fell off to the wayside when I was trying to do that. Then we have uh, Birds of Prey, the, the complete series, it only had one season, just like Constantine. Um, this one came out in like I want to say like two thousand two, two thousand three, and it it. Uh, I guess didn't do all that well, and so it only had one season and didn't get renewed for a second. But I've only seen like the first two or three episodes, and I'd have to rewatch it to give accurate thoughts on it. But I can see, I can kind of see why it didn't continue for a second season. Um, then we have Brightburn, which I want to try and get on 4K combo. My disc is kind of a little dirty on the front there. I need to try and uh, clean that. Um, then I have Batwoman starring Halle Berry on DVD. In this one, Batwoman is not Selena Kyle, but rather she is uh, Patience Phillips. An interesting like t uh, version of the story. I liked it. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible, uh, 
it was kind of somewhere in between there. Then I have Constantine the Movie on DVD and Blu-ray. That one stars Keanu Reeves. Then uh, something that I'm almost at the end of it now. I'm on the last. I'll be on the last episode today. Is Constantine the Complete Series from the Arrowverse? It has three discs and thirteen episodes. And starting or er, and tonight, I'll be watching the thirteenth and final episode. And it's a pretty interesting series. I kind of wish that that it had made it at least to a second season, but it's okay that it didn't. Then we have Constantine, City of Demons, the movie, on DVD and Blu-ray. The Blu-ray, like with Batman and, and Harley Quinn, is the same detailing, but in black. So I'm not going to show that the Blu-ray disc this time, but there it is. And then we have... Uh, I have... Uh, two slots set aside for another Constantine animated movie that I that I saw when uh, last time I went to Best Buy, but I didn't pick it up yet or at that time. Uh, so I have a slot for a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for that, as well as as like I did for City of Demons the movie or Constantine City of Demons the movie. And then we have Legends of Tomorrow season one. Both discs look like this. Season 2, all three discs look like that. Season 3, all three discs look like that. Season 4, all the discs look like this. All three... All two, or both of them do. I guess that one only had two discs. And then I have all, or all three discs look the same for season five, and it looks like this. Season five is where the Crisis on Infinite Earths take, or is, or comes into into play. Um, I don't have season six or seven yet, but I'll try and get those later down the road. Then I have um, three copies of Man of Steel. I have the DVD here. I can't, and it has an identical special feature disc, uh, a second DVD from the Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and then a Blu-ray that ha that looks the same as the DVD and has an identical Blu-ray special feature pack or disc. I have not yet gotten the 4K combo pack, but I imagine it would be it'd be like the Dark Knight trilogy 4K combo was, with a 4K, a Blu-ray, and a special features Blu-ray. Then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five copies of of Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, four theatricals, and an extended and the uh, ultimate edition. Uh, three DVDs with a DVD bonus disc that looks the same from as the one I just showed you, and then I'll show you the disc for the Ultimate Edition as well because it says Ultimate Edition on 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 it, which makes it technically different from the rest. Um, yeah, and I have three slots set aside for a 4K combo pack. Same with. Suicide Squad 2016. I have a DVD and an existing Blu ray. The DVD had a second or a, a special features disc that looked the same as the DVD I showed you, so I'm not going to show that. And I have two slots for the 4K combo. I don't imagine that would also have a, a Blu ray special feature, but it might. I don't know. Then I have Wonder Woman 2017. 2017 being the release year on DVD. Oops. Special features for the DVD. Looks different enough to show. Uh, uh, the Blu-ray. And the 4K. 
Very cool, very cool. Then we have Wonder Woman 84, or aka Wonder Woman 2. Here's the special features DVD. Here's the Blu-ray. This is probably my favorite shade of blue right here. And here's the 4K disc. I just noticed I have too, too many slots here. Um, then we have the theatrical cut of Justice League on DVD. I have two DVDs for that, actually, because I got the Blu-ray DVD combo pack and then standalone DVD. And I want to try and get the 4K combo pack, even though this version of Justice League uh, very much pales in comparison to the to the uh, <laughs> the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut is is a thousand percent better. But here's the Blu-ray for the theatrical cut of Justice League. Then we have the Snyder Cut on DVD, uh, two discs that look the same. And then I have two Blu-ray copies. Here's the the UK Blu-ray. Um, it looks like that. Uh, the American Blu-ray looks the same, minus or minus this. I'll go ahead and show it because it's it's the same print or same design on the disc, but it's but slightly darker, harder to see. So here's disc two of the American release Blu-ray. I got in a 4K combo pack with the 4K disc here. Again, two discs. Um, the Snyder Cut is the definitive version. If they if they end up making a Justice League 2, I would hope that it would be following the events of the Snyder Cut and not the theatrical version. And then we have Aquaman 1 with a slot for the 4K combo, uh, but it also has a special features disc that's a slightly lighter blue than the the than the DVD or than the movie disc. Then we have Shazam One on DVD and the 4K combo pack. Here's the Blu-ray and the inverse for the D for the 4K there. Um, let's see, and then I have three slots set aside for uh, Black Adam for triple formatting it, because I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, three slots set aside for Aquaman 2, and three slots set aside for Shazam! Fury of the Gods, because I thought that was a, a really, really good movie. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Then we have Joker with starring Joaquin Phoenix on all three formats here. And the DVD had a special features disc that was black like the Blu-ray disc is. Then we have Birds of Prey, the Harley Quinn movie here. I'm not gonna say the whole title because it is a really long title. And you know what? I might just I may as well just say it. Um Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Carly Quinn. Uh, it has an identical D or bonus feature disc, and then slots for the 4K combo, a three disc 4K combo it looks like. And then we have the Suicide Squad, uh, James Gunn's 2021 Suicide Squad movie, which is much better than the 2016 version, but I do also enjoy the the twenty uh, the twenty sixteen version. Just I like this one. Uh, this one's more uh, feels like it's it's made a little bit better or way better. Um, and here's the four K disc. Um, then we have the Batman starring Robert Pattinson. Uh, with slots for the 4K combo, two slots, and I'll be right back.
Okie dokie, I'm back. Um, let's see. Now, uh, moving on, we have DC League of Super Pets, which is a really cute movie about Ace the Bat Hound and Crypto the Super Dog, as well as other pets based on, on Justice League characters. I have a slot for the Blu-ray com or Blu-ray 4K combo pack. 4K Blu-ray, I should say, uh, set aside for that. And then we have Doom Patrol Season 1. All three discs look the same. And Doom Patrol Season 2. Both discs look the same. Right there. And then we have Epic Movie Unrated. Since Superman is on the disc right there, I decided to put it in the DC universe with uh, three slots saved for Doom Patrol season two, which I'm imagining will either be, I'll either get the DVD or the Blu-ray of. I think that DV DVD would probably have three discs, but the Blu-ray might only have two. And then we have The Flash from the 1991 series with, starring John Wesley Shipp as The Flash here. I'll show each disc because they all have a different character on them. There's, that one has uh, Flash when he's in his costume, obviously. This one has Mark Hamill's uh, The Trickster on it. This is Dr. Tina McGee. She was helping er, with er, Barry learn how to control his powers and helped him on his superhero outings. I don't remember this character's name, but or the actor, but here is disc four there. Disc five has uh, Barry under his or in his his uh, his lab coat there, and then uh, I think. The discs, the picture on disc six and disc one should be reversed because uh, this version of Iris, uh, Iris West, was only in the pilot episode of this series. But here is um, disc six with Iris West on it. Then we have the UK version or UK Blu-ray for The Flash season one. This is the one with Grant Gustin as The Flash. Um, all, all four discs for that season look the same. And then here's a, the Blu-ray for season two with The Flash on it there. Uh, all four discs look the same once again. And then all four discs for season three look the same as well, and they look like this. Same with uh, all four for season four, they look like this. All the discs for season five look like that. Again, there are four in that season. Then this is season six, disc two. Um, all four discs look like this for season six. All three discs look like this for season seven of The Flash. And season eight, all the discs look like that. With Barry unmasked. That, or that had four discs. My bad, I thought it only had three. And then I have four copies of all five parts of Crisis on Infinite Earths on Blu-ray here. All, all five or all four discs look like that. 
That happens to be the one featured in Supergirl, I believe. I think Supergirl had had Port or Hour One of Crisis, and then Legends of Tomorrow had disc or had Hour Two. Hour Three was in or no, I think Hour One was Batwoman, then Supergirl, and I don't know. I I didn't didn't keep track of that as well as I should have, but anyway, I have four copies of all five parts, and technically a bonus copy, or, yeah, well, yeah, and then each season that they're from, that the, the discs, that these discs came from, also has, um, the individual shows portion of Crisis in, included on one of the discs. In the case of Flash season six, it was on, uh, episode I think. And then we have Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox with a slot for a Blu ray. The theatrical cut of, Green, of Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern movie. I know that movie's not great, but I don't think it deserves all the hate that it gets. Just maybe some of it. And then here's the extended cut for that on Blu-ray. I do have slots for, or two slots open for a 4K combo. Then we have Green Lantern Emerald Knights, a good, a really good animated uh, Green Lantern movie, with a slot for, for I think, a Blu-ray. And then there are two other animated Justice League movies that I want to get on DVD and Blu-ray as well. I know one of them is called Justice League First Flight, or not Justice League First Flight, Green Lantern First Flight, my bad. But I don't remember what the newest, or the newer one is called. Then we have Harley Quinn Season 1. Both discs look the same. I want to try and get Season 2, so I have two slots saved for that, and then I have a slot for the DVD of the next title, which is Legion of Superheroes on DVD and or on Blu-ray and 4K. I have a slot for the DVD, like I said. Uh, right before the Blu-ray. Then I have a slot for a DVD of The Losers. That one's more similar to Red in a way. Retired Extremely Dangerous. Uh, in that it's not really a superhero story. It's more of um, like a uh, action adventure crime story of sorts. This one's action adventure crime, whereas Red and Red Two are are um, action adventure comedies. Then I have a DVD and a Blu-ray for Deathstroke: Knights and Demons, the movie. Pretty good Deathstroke movie, actually. I was, I was quite impressed with this one. I didn't know a whole lot about what the movie was going to be about going or when I, when I got it. But I had heard really good things about it, and it deserves to have good things said about it. It's really good. Uh, the Blu-ray looks the same, but I'll show it anyway, right here. Then I have uh, the original Hellboy from 2004. The bonus feature disc is the same design, but in a blue color. So I'm not going to show it this time around. I think I did last time. Then we have Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. These two are both PG-13, PG-13, and I have slots for Blu-rays saved for them. And then uh, Hellboy 2019 was rated R. And I have a slot for a Blu-ray saved for that as well. And yeah, I, I enjoyed all three of those movies. I think the the uh, 2019 version is probably my favorite version, but I did like the Golden Army, or Hellboy 2, the Golden Army that is. Then I have Jonah Hex on DVD and Blu-ray. I got those separately. 
And then we have Justice League Justice on Trial. This is from the original uh, Justice League series. Or well, maybe not the original, but the early 2000s version. I want to say like 2002, that version. Early 2000s, that area, era. And great series. I want to try and get the rest of the series as well as the rest of the series for Justice League Unlimited. This is the Saving the World movie, which I think is like three or four of the episodes. Same with Justice on Trial. It's three or four episodes from this, this series of the same name. Justice League. And then we have Justice League The New Frontier. Which I'm not sure when this one came out exactly. But it was a pretty interesting movie. Then we have Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. They, here's Earth Earth One's version of the guy of the characters, and here's Earth Two's version of the characters. Uh, on Earth Two, the Justice League is the Crime Syndicate, and um, they're evil. I have a slot for a Blu-ray saved, as is the case for Justice League Throne of Atlantis right here. And then we have Justice League War. I mentioned this one when I got to the Ben 10 stuff, because there's a lot of similar sound effects in this that there are there in that original Ben 10 show. Cartoon, I should say. Um, yeah. And then we have a slot for a Blu-ray for that as well, and a slot for a Blu-ray of uh, Justice League Gods and Monsters, this is another alternate reality type thing where the Justice League or League, or League members are, well, monsters like it says. Batman in that particular version is a vampire. And then we have Justice League Doom, which at, at disc 1 has a Batman printed on it with, in red and disc 2. The special features has Superman in blue here. Um, and that is the end of, of case three. But in case four, I did leave a slot for a Blu-ray of Justice League Doom. And I think I might watch that um, tonight after finishing Constantine series. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here while I grab case number four, but... From your perspective, I won't be gone at all, because it doesn't record while I'm paused, obviously. Okay, here we are with case number four. This one finishes off the DC Universe, and I believe it begins the E section, maybe? Movies that start with E, I mean. And like I mentioned, there's a slot for a Blu-ray for Justice League Doom. And then there's Justice League Dark here, with a slot for a Blu-ray. And then Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Great, great movie. And a slot for a Blu-ray. And then here's the best of DC animated movies, 8 movie collection on 3 discs. Disc 1 has Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman the Killing Joke on it. Uh, all the discs look the same, so I'll just read the titles of the, of the other six movies here. They are The Death of Superman, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, Justice League Dark, Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, Wonder Woman, the animated movie from 2009, and All-Star Superman. Then we have Justice League vs. The Fatal Five for a... a or with a slot for a Blu-ray. Um, I just watched this one last night before putting on Constantine. Pretty good movie. Then we have Justice Society World War II on Blu-ray with Wonder Woman on the disc. If you can see that okay. Right there. Um, with a slot for DVD. And then with a slot for a Blu-ray we have uh, Injustice, the movie, based on the Injustice Gods Among Us video game. Then we have 
two DVDs of Kick-Ass 1 that look the same, and a Blu-ray for it. Then we have a DVD for Kick-Ass 2, as well as a Blu-ray. Then I have Krypton Season 1 on DVD, or on Blu-ray, I mean, sorry. Um, that is what both of the discs for Season 1 look like. And then, uh, previously to getting the first two seasons, or the both seasons on Blu-ray, I had gotten the first or the second season on DVD, but both discs look the same in for over or with both formats, and they look like this. The lighting is being really weird now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Lobo, Brainiac, Doomsday, and some and someone I don't and a character I don't recognize are on both discs for. For both or, or on both both formats as well. Then I have two copies of Red that I mentioned a minute ago. Red is an acronym for retired and extremely dangerous. Or just well mine is and retired extremely dangerous, but and is not included in the acronym. Uh, with a slot for a Blu-ray. Same with Red 2 slot for a Blu-ray here. Then we have Return to the Batcave. This one features um, Adam West and Burt Ward when they're in their, their like late 60s or something like that, returning to the set of the, of the 1966 Batcave and following a bunch of clues from one of the from someone in the movie leading them back there uh, to give them a a trip down memory lane, basically. Then we have Smallville Season 1, Disc 1 on DVD. I'll show all six discs for the DVDs, but only one of the, one of the four discs per season of Blu-ray, because the Blu-rays all have the same design on them, for, or each season has the same design for all four discs included in that season. Disc 2 has Lana. Disc 1 had Clark. Disc 3 has Lex Luthor. Disc 4 has Chloe Sullivan. Disc 5 has Pete Ross. And Disc 6 has Mr. and Mrs. Kent, Jonathan and Martha. And then the Blu-ray disc for Season 1, all four of them look like that. Right there with kind of an 8 in a... In a in a uh, square type thing going on here. Square and then the eight. All four discs for the Blu-rays of season one look like that. And they're numbered di or one through four. Um, the Blu-ray discs for season two are, are numbered five through eight. They don't go season one, disc one, and uh, season two, disc one. And that and for the Blu-rays, they decided to just go seasons one through four, or discs discs 1 through 40, and it says on, on the disc itself what season it's for, four discs to a season. Then we have uh, season 2 disc 1 for, for the DVDs with Clark again on, on there. Season 2 disc 2 again has Lana, Lana Lang. Lex on disc 3. Chloe on disc 4, Pete on disc 5, Jonathan and Martha Kent on disc 6, and then the Blu-ray disc for, for season 5 looks like this, times 4. And then season six, disc one has Clark. Season three, I mean, not this season six, season three. Disc one, disc two has Lana Lang again. 
Disc 3 has Lex. Disc 4 has Chloe again. Disc 5 has Pete Ross. And Mr. and Mrs. Kent are, are on disc 6 again. I guess I don't need to show that if it's the same characters on on each of the discs in the same order as the first two seasons that were. And then the di the Blu-ray discs for season 2 look like that with an 8 inside the, the um, Superman's Diamond logo. And they have the, the 8 instead of the S that we're familiar with from Superman. Um, and we have season four, disc one, which which has Clark on it. Um, disc five for this season was different. Instead of Pete Ross, it, it features Lionel Luther on the disc. And then see, disc six is Mr. and Mrs. Kent again. And then we have the Blu-ray design for season four, with the uh, I think Greek goddess Isis, her symbol on here. And I believe ends up um, possessing Lana or Chloe, one of the two. And then the the DVDs for discs or for season five has Clark on the first. Lana on the second, Lex on the third, Chloe on the fourth. Uh, I'll go ahead and show this one. Lois on the th on the fifth disc, and then discs or disc six. It once again is Mr. and Mrs. Kent, and then we have that design on the Blu-ray discs for season five, and then we have Clark on the disc for season six, disc one again, Lana on disc two, Lex on disc three, uh, Jimmy Olsen and Chloe Sullivan on disc four, La or Lois Lane and Oliver Queen on disc five, and Lionel Luther and Martha Kent on disc six. And then the Blu-ray design for this season looks like this, which I think is pretty cool. And then season seven has Clark on disc one, Lex on disc two, Lana on disc three, uh, Chloe and Lois on disc four, Supergirl and Jimmy Olsen on disc five. In Smallville, they call her Kara, not Kara. Just a little factoid there. And disc six has Lionel Luther all to himself. And then the Blu ray design looks like this for season seven. And then we have. Season 8, Disc 1 with Clark in, in a nice little uh, dress shirt and tie. He looks nice in his tie. Pretty cool tie, too. Then we have Chloe on Disc 2. Um, Lois on Disc 3. Jimmy on, on Disc 4. Uh, I think Davis Bloom and Tess Mercer on disc uh, five there. Uh, Davis Bloom is Doomsday. And that actor, Sam Whitworth, ha is, had, has voiced at least three characters in Star Wars. And, that is, and those characters are... Uh, Darth Maul in Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. And he also played, or er, was the visual uh, visual imprint as well as the voice for um, Darth Vader's secret apprentice, Starkiller. And the voice of Palpatine, or er, Emperor Palpatine as well, both 
times in The Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2. I don't think Palpatine was in Force Unleashed 2, but, he, but uh, Starkiller was. And then we have Disc 6 for Season 8 of Smallville with Oliver Queen on it. He was the first live-action Oliver Queen before um, Stephen A. Moll took over, and that was Justin Hartley, I believe. He did a really good job. Nothing, nothing to complain about with his portrayal of the character. And then here's what the Blu-rays for Season 8 looks like. Cool design there. Then uh, Season 9 has Clark in his... his uh, the blur outfit when he decided to ditch his red and blue color scheme for a little while. And then we have Chloe on disc two. Sorry, my leg got itchy. And then we have Lois on disc three, Lois Lane. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Um, Tess Mercer on Disc four. General Zod on disc five. Green Arrow on on disc six. And then here's the Blu-ray design for that season. And then here's Clark again on, on Season 10, Disc 1. Uh, Lois is on Disc 2. Is that... I'll go ahead and show it because she was on Disc 3 last time. There we go. Tess Mercer is on Disc 3. Oliver Queen on Disc 2. Four. Chloe on disc five. Mr. and Mrs. Kent on disc six. And then the Blu-ray design is that of the Superman logo, which looks pretty good. And then the bonus discs uh, bonus DVD discs both look like this for Smallville, the com uh, complete series collection. And those, uh, between the two discs, they feature over 28 hours of bonus content. I'll have to check that out eventually. Then we have the live action Spawn movie on DVD. And then we have anim or the animated. Uh, Spawn 1 on DVD, two copies of Spawn 2 on DVD, right here, yeah, hopefully you can somewhat see that, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I have two of the same DVD for that, one of them has the backstage video scanner thing on it. And then we have uh, Spawn 3. And a bonus disc in the mind of Todd McFarlane. Uh, these, uh, the four discs that didn't have the backstage video stamp on it for the animated um, Spawn movies, all came in a, in a or they came in a trilogy pack with a bonus disc, which was the Todd McFarlane thing. And then we have Suicide Squad: Hell to Pay on DVD and Blu-ray. Right there. I just noticed those discs look the same. Then we have Supergirl's DVD director cut, the movie, and the Blu ray director's cut. And the girl who plays Supergirl here plays Mrs. Danvers, aka Supergirl's adoptive mom, in Supergirl the series, starring her. Uh, or starring Melissa Bayonst. I probably didn't pronounce that right. And then 
Here's the international cut on Blu-ray for Supergirl with two slots for a blue or for a 4K combo if there even is one. Then we have Supergirl season one from the Arrowverse. All three discs for that season look the same, and then season two, all the discs look like this. I have four slots saved for the Blu-rays of Season 3, and then Season 4 and 5 both look like this for all four discs, of, or four discs per season. So there's that one, and here's Disc 2 for Season 5, right there. And then Season 6, the final season, has a pretty purple disc right here. Looks more blue on camera, but it is purple in person. And then I have the complete Diamond Anniversary Edition Superman collection. This is the from the I think the Superman cartoon from the early 40s, early 1940s, I should say. And then uh, I have the 1948 live action series of Superman uh, in black and white. When you thought, or if you thought that superhero movie or superhero shows couldn't get any cornier than Adam West as Batman, check that out and you'll be proven wrong. Here's disc two. I believe that is Miss Lois Lane on there. And then also included in that, that was a four disc set for the old Superman stuff was the 1950 release of Ant-Man, or, or not Ant-Man, Adam Man versus Superman Disc 1 and 2. This disc has Jimmy Olsen, and Disc 2 has Clark Kent, um, still in black and white. And then we have, in color, Superman the Movie, D or Disc 1, theatrical cut. This version is 143 minutes. Then we have the a DVD of the the um, ex the 2000 special edition, which I have a Blu-ray of in just a second, and the the extended or expanded edition here from that was released in 2000 has Clark Kent on the disc and a runtime of 151 minutes. And um, then there were two special feature discs included in that set for Superman one. And that has Lois Lane and Lex Luthor holding a kryptonite necklace on there. Then I have a, a like I mentioned, I have a Blu-ray of the special edition. That was disc two for the four discs collection there. And that one is the 151 minute version. And then we have the uh, Superman the Movie Extended Cut, which is 188 minutes. Definitely the definitive version right here. Feels the most complete of all of them. With slots for a 4K combo. Then we have Superman 2, the theatrical cut. And the Richard Donner cut, both on DVD. I think I like the Richard Donner cut better, honestly. Even though it's shorter. The theatrical cut is 127 minutes. And then it's the Richard Donner cut is only 116 um, I have slots saved for the 4K combo. Then we have Superman 3 on DVD. I haven't gotten the Blu-ray or 4K for that yet, nor have I gotten the 4K Blu-ray combo for Superman 4, A Quest for Peace. The Quest for Peace, my bad. But I would, I would like to as well. And then I have a... In addition to the 4K combo slots for that, I also have a slot for the, for Volume 1 of the cartoon craze here. This is Volume 2, Superman Showdown. Then I have Volume 3, Superman and Popeye, Out to Punch. Uh, the two characters don't cross over into their cartoons. It has a certain number of Popeye episodes, including Out to Punch. And a number in the same number of Superman episodes, but they don't cross over into each other's shows. And then I have slots for for discs four and five from that 
same series. And then I have uh, volume six here, which is Casper and Friends Spooking About Africa, which had a bonus disc. And then since there's such a large gap between that between volume six and the next one that I have, I didn't. I do not have slots saved in between those because it's it would be a lot of slots. It'd be eleven slots. But here is the bonus disc that came with the Casper cartoon stuff. So Casper and friends. There we go. And then you're gonna see why I don't have slots saved in between this one and the and the last one right now because that is disc or volume 17 little lulu and little audrey the lost dream and then we have volume 18 which is mighty mouse slash heckle and jekyll colon wolf wolf right there again i don't have slots in between this and the next one which is volume 24 sing-alongs and then 25 Betty Boop and or volume 25 Betty Boop and Grampy and that is it for the cartoon craze but moving along we have classic cartoons disc 1 and disc two looks the same. Both are double sided. Then we have Star Odyssey, which also includes Superman Electric Earthquake, Felix the Cat, Stramos, uh, Rocky Jones, Space Ranger, Escape into Space, and the new Three Stooges, The Littlest Martian, right here. Then we have Superman Returns on DVD. With a special feature disc, Lex holding kryptonite again. And then we have The Science of Superman, which I haven't checked out yet. It's a little under an hour, 51 minutes, so I might check that out before finishing Constantine tonight. We'll see. Then I have another DVD copy right here from Uncle Jeff. as well as a Blu-ray with, uh, I think, two slots. Yeah, two slots saved for the 4K combo. And then we have Lois and Superman, season one. All three discs look the same. He's a pretty decent Superman, and he did a really good job, I think. I don't know what his name is, but he did quite well. And then, like with the Batman and Killer Croc stuff, we have... Superman, DC Supervillains, Bizarro, which features three episodes about Bizarro on it. And then I have a slot for a DVD of the next title, which is All-Star Superman. I want to get a standalone DVD, even though it's on the best of animated DC movies. I want to get a standalone DVD to put right next to that. And then we have Superman, Batman, Apocalypse, Disc 1, with uh, exclusive... And it includes an exclusive short of Green Arrow. Another one of these discs had a similar thing going on. I must have missed it. Anyway, disc two has Dark Side on there. Oh, come on. Where is there we go. The screen got all dark for a second. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? A slot for a Blu-ray. And then we have Superman Unbound. In this, he fight he faces off against Brainiac, and uh, kind of kills him a little bit. A uh, slot for a Blu-ray, and then I have a slot for a DVD of Superman Doomsday, which I just did a ranking of not too long ago, which included the Death of Superman on DVD with a slot for a Blu-ray, as well as Reign of the Superman, slot for a Blu-ray. Then we have Superman, Man of Tomorrow, slot for a Blu-ray. This one had a 2D animation style, and as did this one, which is Superman Red Sun, where he's a communist and a Russian, instead of being raised by the Kents here in, in Kansas. 
here meaning the United States. A uh, slot for a Blu-ray for that as well. And then we have Swamp Thing right here, the first movie, with a slot for a Blu-ray. Then we have The Return of Swamp Thing, or Swamp Thing 2, with a slot for a Blu-ray. And both discs for Swamp Thing, the, the complete series, look like this. I've seen the pilot episode, and Swamp Thing just barely showed up at the end of the episode, right before the credits rolled. But there were other vine creatures that showed up before then. Then we have Teen Titans, the complete first season, disc one with Robin on there. And disc two with the other three, other four members of the Teen Titans being Beast Boy, Cyborg, uh, Starfire, and Raven. I spaced on Starfire's name there for a second. Then we have the complete series, disc one with Robin on it again. Disc 2 with Raven. Disc 3 with Beast Boy. The disc I'm on with, with, with my watch through is Disc 4 with Cyborg on it. Haven't quite finished Season 3. And then we have season or er, Disc 5 with Starfire. Disc 6 with Slade. They didn't, I don't think they ever call him Deathstroke in the series. Do they just call him Slade? And disc 7 has Trigon, who is Raven's father, who's also trapped in a gem on her forehead. And then we have Justice League, T the, uh, or not Justice League, Teen Titans, the Judas Contract DVD. The Blu-ray looks the same, but in or in black instead of that orangish color. I'll go ahead and show it anyway, though. There we go. Then we have Teen Titans Go, Season Two, Part One, Disc One, with uh, Beast Boy as a as a gorilla. And Disc 2 has Cyborg on it. The original Teen Titans cartoon or er, series is immensely superior to Teen Titans Go. And then we have Teen Titans Go to the movies right here. Oops. With a slot for a Blu-ray. And um Maybe even a 4K, I'm not sure. And then we have Justice or Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans here with the, the two Ravens on it. Uh, with a slot for a Blu-ray as well. Then we have Titans Season 1 on Blu-ray. This is a much more adult um, version of the Teen Titans show. Uh, can get pretty bloody. And they swear a bunch. And then we have season two, which both discs look like that. And then I have the D three or the three disc set of for season three DVD. And they all look like this. And then we have V for Vendetta with a slot for a Blu-ray. Watchmen on DVD. Watchmen on Blue or the director's cut on Blu-ray with a special feature disc. And then I got the ultimate cut of Watchmen recently on 4K that included a, another copy of the, the director's cut on Blu-ray with a alternate special feature disc on Blu-ray. And then the ultimate cut, the complete story di disc for on 4K looks like that. And then I have Watchmen, the complete series. Uh, all three discs look the same like this. Kind of a brick wall tech or pattern on the back. I watched the first three or four episodes. 
And then we have Wonder Woman Season 1, Disc 1. Disc 2 has white, a white band around it instead of red. And Disc 3 has a blue band like this. All in American flag colors. Or American flag versions of the colors. And then Season 2 has a slightly deeper red on Disc 1. The same white on Disc 2. And a slightly lighter blue on Disc 3. And then Disc 4 is black. And that same color pattern for seasons one discs one or season two discs one through four is carried over onto season three. So I'm not going to show the discs for that because they're the same ones I just showed basically. And then we have Wonder Woman, the animated movie on Blu-ray. I want to get the individual DVD release. Again, it's I have it on the um, best of DC animated movies collection. And then we have Wonder Woman Bloodlines on DVD and Blu-ray. Right there. And then exiting the DC Universe now, moving on to, to the next portion here, we have Dead Silence. That is the unrated version, I guess. And then we have the Dean Martin Celebrity Roasts. Roasting Bob Hope. I guess they're making fun of Bob Hope in that or something. That is, I think, what roasting means in our society these days. Then we have Death and Cremation. Deepwater Horizon with a slot for a Blu-ray. Deja Vu with, a, or with two slots for a 4K combo. Dennis the Menace, Special Edition. And Dennis the Menace Strikes Again. I got those in a two movie collect or a bundle, collection bundle. I think they came with two other movies. I think they came with the uh, two cats and dogs movies as well. Then we have Despicable Me 1 on DVD, copy one, and copy two is of the DVD is the same. That came with the Blu-ray combo pack there. There's the Blu-ray for that. Then I have Despic or two slots for a 4K combo, and then Despicable Me 2 on DVD. And Blu-ray with the same two slots for a 4K combo. And then we have only the DVD so far for Despicable Me 3 with slots for the 4K combo pack left open. Then we have the Laugh Out Loud 6 movie collection, disc 1, which features the animal and the bench warmers. Right here. You can see that maybe. Maybe not. Um, then we have disc 2, which has Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, and the house bunny right there. And then we have disc three from that same collection that has Joe Dirt and the Master of Disguise on it right there. Joe Dirt and er, is a separate title from Master of Disguise. And then we have The Devil's Own right here. Haven't seen that one yet. And then we have Die Hard One, disc one. And disc two with a slot for a 4K combo. Or two slots, I should say. And then we have Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and disc one and two with slots for a 4K combo pack. Two slots, that is. As is the case for Die Hard 3 with a Vengeance here, disc one and disc two. That one features Samuel L. Jackson in it as well. Um, and then uh, Die Hard 4, Live Free or Die Hard here with um, slots for 4K combo. Same with A Good Day to Die Hard, Die Hard 5. 
Then we have Dirty Dancing Ultimate Edition, Disc 1. And Disc 2. Haven't seen it. Nor have I seen Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. Right there. Then we have Disaster Movie. Yes, it is. Then we have uh, Disney Short Films Collection DVD. And Blu-ray. Then we have almost identical discs for the DVD and Blu-ray of District 9. Um, yeah, I haven't watched it yet, but I have seen Elysium, which is coming up in case five, I believe. But in the meantime, we have Disturbia with a slot for a Blu-ray. That was a pretty good one. I watched that one. Uh, and then we have Divergent 1. Divergent 2, Insurgent. Divergent 3, Allegiant. And in the same, or I think, more of like an origin story for one of the main characters is, in that same franchise is I Am Number 4, which is why I have it under D for Divergent because there's a character named number four in the original movie. I think he is the one on the disc for Divergent, the first movie. He's also in two and three, but a new version of him is introduced uh, in I Am Number Four, because it's kind of like his origin story in a way, like I said. And the next three discs, or ne next, sorry, next four discs all look the same, but they have they these are uh, 20 dog lover movies. Featuring Toby McTeague from 1986, rated PG. Lassie and the Painted Hills from 1951, not rated, probably super innocent. Son of the Navy, 1940s, black and white, not rated again. Uh, Carol, in the Carol of the Mountains, 1936, black and white, not rated. The Return of Rin Tin Tin, 1947, not rated. And the next disc has Angel Dog, 2011 PG. Uh, My Dog Shep, 1946, black and white, not rated. Um, George, exclamation point, 1972, rated G. Peco, 1972, not rated. Uh, also in color. And then we have The Silver Trail, 1947, black and white, not rated. The Test, 1935, black and white, not rated. Vengeance of, Ra of Rana, Rana, something like that, 1936, black and white, not rated. Fangs of the Wild, 1939, black and white. Law of the Wolf, 1939, black and white again. Um, from 1935 in black and white, we have Skull and Crown, uh, none of which are rated, because they're so old. And then disc three has, or, or sorry, disc four has the Karate Dog from 2004, rated PG. Chili Dogs from 2001, rated PG-13. Behave Yourself from 1951, black and white, not rated. Um, Mooch Goes to Hollywood, 1970, not rated. Pardon My Pups, 1934, black and white, not rated. Then I have a slot for Dr. Doolittle 1 with Dr. Doolittle 2. Dr. Doolittle 3, a slot for Dr. Doolittle 4. And then the Robert Downey Jr. Doolittle movie from, when did this come out? 2020, the 2020 release. Must have been early 2020 because uh, for a while there, nothing was coming out. Pervasive lies. Pervasive lies. That's all I have to say about that. 
Then we have Doctor Who Shada, disc one main program and with bonus features right here. And disc two is the 2003 webcast version with bonus features and the TARDIS is on the disc there. Then we have, I'm not sure what, I think this is season three, four maybe? Season four of Doctor Who, the newer stuff. Here's disc one. Each disc has a different character on it, so I'll be showing off all, all the discs. I think there are six of them. Then here's disc two. Disc three. Disc four. Disc five. And disc six, there with a Dalek. They like to exterminate things. Then the next four discs all look the same, but they have um, episodes one through through thirteen of season six of the newer Doctor Who stuff, featuring Matt Smith. I think the season four was David Tennant, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. All, all four discs for season six, disc one, or parts one and two look the same, just with a different number of, or the different uh, episodes listed at the bottom. And then here's, I'm not sure which season this is, once again, but it's one of the Matt Smith seasons. Here's disc one. And disc two. I think that's like the first half of a season or something. And then here's all, all the, or the next five discs are the the discs for a complete season. I'm not sure which one though. It's probably six or seven, something like that. That one has the actor who would become Rip Hunter in Legends of Tomorrow, who's the captain of of the Legends team for the first two seasons at least, surrounded by Daleks in the, on the disc. And this in her disc two has Karen Gillian. She went up went on to be Nebula in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, as well as Infinity War, or Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. And then here's three other characters on disc uh, three here. Here's a couple more characters. Is this supposed to be a Cyberman right here? I know that this was a Cyberman, but I don't know if that's a, a like a, a new design for them or not. And then here's disc five for that for whatever season this is, with once again Matt Smith and another one of the characters on there. I want to say that that is is um, I want to say that that actor's Ian Holm, aka um, old man Bilbo in the, in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Then we have a DVD of of Doctor Who: Twice Upon a Time featuring uh, Ginaldi or Ginaldi or whatever it is for or the Twelfth Doctor features the Twelfth Doctor, <laughs> and, as well as the First Doctor is on the disc as well. And then here is Season Ten, Part One, Disc One. On Blu-ray. Disc two again on Blu-ray. And then disc or part season ten part two disc one again here with that same reptilian armored type character. And it looks like maybe retro Cybermen with the twelfth doctor on disc two there. I got both parts of that season of season ten for a dollar each. Great deal. High voltage. At high voltage records, that's where I got those from for a dollar. Then we have Doctrine and Covenants and Church History DVD presentations um, version one. 
And then we have uh, Doctrine and Covenants stories right here. Then we have Doctrine and Covenants and Church History Visual Resource DVDs, Disc 1 of 3. Um, this one covers the overview through section 30, or 64, I mean. And then Disc 2 looks the same and features sections 65 to Latter-day Proclamations. And Disc 3 looks the same and features Joseph Smith, the Prophet of the Restoration, the Legacy, the Mountain of the Lord, Treasure in Heaven, the John Tanner story, and Only a Stone Cutter. And then I have a third version of Doctrine and Covenants and Church History DVD presentations. Discs 1 and 2 both look the same here. That one is presentations 1 through 12, and disc 2 is 13 through 22. Then we have Domestic Disturbance with John Travolta on the disc, as well as a few other characters, with a slot for a Blu-ray, as well as a slot for a Blu-ray of Domino. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Uh, this guy right here was Whiplash in Iron Man 2. And then we have Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter Died with a slot for a Blu-ray. Or the Babysitter's Dead, my bad. Potato, potato. And then we have Doom based on a first-person shooter game, which includes a first-person shooter scene. Blu-ray of Doomsday, which we mentioned at the pre in the end of the previous case, I believe, or case two. It was featured in case two with along with, on, a, on a double feature disc with Children and Men and Doomsday. This one's the unrated version. The one version on that two pack was the theatrical cut. And then we have Double Jeopardy, right here. This is a uh, crime mystery thing. Then we have Bram Stoker's Dracula with a slot for a Blu-ray saved in the next case because that is the end of case four. And I'll be right back with case five. Okay, I'm back with case five. This one is uh, thinner than the others, as you can see. Uh, quick comparison. This is, is what cases one through five or one through four and six through th 13 all look like however this is the thickness for for case five as well as the waiting room case which is currently empty so i'm not going to going to show that one this time around i did last time because it had some stuff in it but here we go let's get started um we first up we have volume one disc one for and DuckTales, the original series, not the remake, Disc 2, and Disc 3, as well as I also have Volumes 2 and 3, three and they all have different looking discs, so I'm going to show them all. Here we go. Here's Disc 1, Disc 2. Disc 3, Disc, or uh, Season, th Volume 3, Disc 1, 2, and 3. Then we have DuckTales the Movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp, which came out, I think, after the series, the original series ended here. Then we have Dumbo, the 75th anniversary edition on DVD. That's the uh, original cartoon version. And Blu-ray right here. 
with a slot saved for a 4K combo pack of the live action remake here. Only a DVD is currently in my my collection. I don't, which is why there are slots for the 4K combo pack, and then or DVD combo pack I or Blu-ray combo pack I think, because Blu-ray DVD is what they usually do for Disney titles. Then we have Duplicity. Eagle Eye. And if you want a, an idea of how creepy the government can be, there you go. Eagle Eye. A slot for a Blu ray for that. And then we have Easter Dream right here. Then we have Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, or Repeat. Uh, we have a DVD with a special, or no, no special features disc. But then I got a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. The Blu-ray and the DVD both look the same, but here is the Blu-ray. Let me get in there. Sometimes I have to wrestle to get the discs back in their slot. Then we have Edward Scissorhands Anniversary Edition. It was an alright movie. I was expecting it to be a horror movie, and it absolutely was not. Then we have Elf on widescreen DVD. And full screen DVD. Then we have Ella Enchanted with a slot for a Blu-ray. If there even is one. Or no, slot for a DVD of Elysium, my bad, because the Blu-ray is up next. So I have a slot for a DVD of this, not a Blu-ray of Ella Enchanted, my bad. And then we have Emily of New Moon, Disc 1. Or Season, season 1, Disc 1. There are seven discs in total for four seasons. Here's what Disc 2 and 3 look like. So they're dual sided discs. Same with discs four and five, even though it's only the third one shown here. Then disc six is right here. Disc seven is right here. Season or disc. Eight, I'm sorry, is right here. And disc nine is here. Again, th physically there's only seven discs, but that's because disc two and three and uh, four and five were combined together. And then we have the emoji movie. Enchanted with a slot for Disenchanted. Enchanted Christmas, Anna Maria Men Mendita. Some our uh, Christmas mu some Christmas music there. Encrypt. Operation Endgame, not to be confused with Avengers Endgame. Very, very different movies. This one's a a um, heist film. And then we have Endless Love right here. Actually kind of a cute story. Uh, there's a slot for a Blu-ray of that. Then we have End of Days, an Arnold Schwarzenegger apocalypse type movie. Uh, Enemy of State right here. Haven't seen that one, I don't think. Featuring Will Smith and Gene Hackman. Then we have Ephraim's Rescue with a slot for a, a Blu-ray. I got this one and lent it out to someone while I was serving my mission. That's why it has Elder Deloy on the front there. And we have The Equalizer 1 on DVD with a slot for a Blu-ray. 
and a slot for a DVD of Equalizer 2 because I have an existing Blu-ray Blu right here. Both feature Denzel Washington in the in the role of the Equalizer himself. Then we have Aragon, a cute dragon movie. Dragon fantasy stuff. Then we have The Errand of Angels. The greatest change comes from within. That was a movie about sister missionaries and mission life. Um, then we have Escape from Planet Earth right here, where aliens are trying to get away from us instead of the other way around. Then we have two copies of Escape Room 1 from 2019. Great movie. And a great sequel is 2021's Escape Room Tournament of Champions. With a slot for a Blu-ray of each movie. Each of those two. And then we have, like in the scriptures, Esther and the King right here. E.T. the Extraterrestrial on DVD with a bonus disc and a slot or two slots saved for a 4K combo pack. Then we have Road Trip, unrated edition. Euro Trip, copy one. Um, copy two looks the, the disc looks the same pretty much. Uh, also unrated. And then we have Road Trip Beer Pong, unrated. Evan Almighty. Everest, Never Let Go, with an interesting DVD design. Looks like maybe a burned copy. I'll be right back. I need to let my dog in. Okay. Next up is Evil Dead 1 with a slot for a 4K combo pack. Two slots. Um, Evil Dead's 1 and 2 are the only two NC-17 movies that I have because, and the reason they're NC-17 is because they are both um, too creepy and, and bloody for an R rating, as is the case with Evil Dead 1 and 2 here. Uh, again, slot for a 4K combo pack, and then, or two slots, I mean, um, and then two slots for a 4K combo pack of Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. Then we have Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Disc 1, and Disc 2. Those are on DVD. And I, on Blu-ray, I have Season 2, Disc 1 and 2 here. And then Season 3, both discs look the same, but I got the DVDs here. Um, my younger brother, Victor, is a big fan of the series. Um, I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I see. I saw like the first ten minutes of the pilot episode, and it was pretty good. I just ha have so many things that I'm trying to watch right now, that I haven't uh, finished the series yet. And then I have a slot for a DVD as well as a 4K combo pack for Evil Dead 2013, the remake. Um, pretty good remake actually. And then uh, I have an existing Blu-ray for that. Okay, and then um, I have three slots saved for Evil Dead Rise, which is currently in theaters. One for the DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Oops. And then we have The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Exorcist The Beginning. Decent movie. Not great, not terrible. A slot for 4K combo pack as well as, for this one, Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist. Again, not great, not terrible. 
with the slot for a Blu-ray 4K combo pack. Then we have the theatrical cut of The Exorcist 1. A title which is no longer accurate for me because I have seen it is The Exorcist, the version you've never seen. And The Exorcist Extended Director's Cut. That version I have I truly have not seen yet as of filming this. And then I have slots for the 4K combo pack. Same with uh, Exorcist 2 The Heretic. Uh, slots for a 4K combo pack are present there. And then we have ex The Exorcist 3 Legion right here. With a slot for the 4K combo pack. Ex Machina for, with slots for the 4K combo pack. Two copies of Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed. Both look the same. The Expendables Trilogy, all on the same DVD. One, two, and three. The first two are, P are rated R, the third one is PG-13. I look forward to the fourth one. I have a slot for a combined, or three slots for the Blu-rays of one, two, and three. And then a slot for the DVD and the Blu-ray of number four. Then we have in oops in uh, five different colors we have Sherry Duvall's Fairy Tale Theater. Uh, I'll show you the disc for this one. The, the others are in blue, green, orange, and purple. And then there's a, a unique disc for disc six that looks different. But the ones on featured on disc one here are Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Beauty and the Beast, The Boy Who Left Home to Find Out About the Shivers, the Three Little and the Three Little Pigs. Uh, the blue disc, disc two has Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Pinocchio, The Princess and the Pea, and Thumbelina. Disc three has Sleeping Beauty, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, Han and Hansel and Gretel. In green, on the orange disc. Disc 4 is The Snow Queen, The Pied Piper of Hamelin, Cinderella, and Puss in Boots. Disc 5, the purple disc, has The Tale of the Frog Prince, Rumpelstiltskin, Rapunzel, and The Nightingale. And then the only disc that doesn't look the same as that one is Disc 6, which is dual-sided, it looks like. Um, yeah, here we go. Disc 6 has two yellow bands on it, one on the inner circle, and one on the outer circle there. Then we have Fairy Tale, A True Story. Falling in Love Again. This is a slightly older movie. I want to say, like, uh, well, it says on the disc, 1980. So there you go. It's a 1980 romance movie. I have a few of those. Um, family Answers for a More Loving Family. Church training video. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, disc one and disc two with, a sl with two slots saved for the 4K combo pack. As is the case for Crimes of Grindelwald, Fantastic Beasts 2, discs 1 and 2 there. I just noticed after showing those then that both discs look the same for the second movie. And then there's only one disc for the DVD of The Secrets of Dumbledore, Fantastic Beasts 3. Uh, I had a fun time seeing this in theaters with some of my biological family. And there's... Um, Slots for the 4K combo pack for that as well. Then I have two different looking copies of Fast and Furious 1. Here's one version, the collector's edition, and then here's the green, a cool cream, uh, like a lime green disc. Looks more yellow on, on the screen. Then we have Too Fast, Too Furious, disc 1 and disc 2. 
um, both of which have slots for a, a DVD or a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Um, same for the rest of the series, except for Fast Five, which I already have the four, the Blu-ray combo pack and a standalone DVD of, as well as Hobbs and Shaw, which I only have the, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of, not a standalone DVD. But moving right along, we have the Fast and the Furious Three Tokyo Drift. I'm trying to remember where this is. Let's get the three condition. There we go. Then Fast and Furious Four. It's called Fast and Furious. Fast Five on DVD. Times two. And then here's the Blu-ray for it. Then we have Fast and Furious 6 on a yellow disc there with slots for the Blu-ray combo pack open. Then we have Furious 7 on a blue disc here. Uh, Fast 5 is on a kind of a purplish disc and 4 was on a red disc. Um, then there's slots for the 4K or, or Blu-ray combo pack. I'm not sure if I want to get these on 4K or not. Since I have two slots I may as well maybe. But uh, anyway, moving on. In kind of a a, a uh, deeper, like almost smoggy type blue, we have the Fate of the Furious with slots for the, the Blu-ray combo pack. Or slots open, I should say. And then we have the existing Blu-ray DVD combo pack for Hobbs and Shaw. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. And then on another on a yellow disc again is F9 the Fast Saga on DVD with slots for the Blu-ray combo pack. And then I also have two slots open for this the DVD combo or Blu-ray DVD combo pack for uh, Fast and Furious 10. Then we have Fat Albert live action movie on on DVD. Father of the Bride 1. Father of the Bride 2, Ferris Bueller on DVD with a slot for a D for a, or on, on Blu-ray, I mean, with a slot for a DVD and a slot for a, a 4K. If you haven't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, what are you doing? Do yourself a favor and see it. And then we have. Three LDS film classics on on DVD, featuring Fourth Witness, the Mary Whitmer story, uh, Eliza and I, uh, Woman, the Pioneer. There we go. Another uh, annoying sticker on it. Then we have The Fifth Element. I just watched this one about a month and a half ago. I quite enjoyed it, so I decided let's get it on 4K combo as well. Then we have Fight Club on DVD. The first rule of Fight Club is we don't talk about Fight Club, so that's all I have to say about that. Copyright Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump said that. Uh, with slots for a 4K combo pack for Fight Club. That's all I'm going to say about that now. And then we have The Fighting Preacher with a slot for a Blu-ray. This is a great Church or a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints comedy movie. Very great. If, again, if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and do so. I have a slot for a Blu-ray save for that. Then we have The Final Cut, starring Robin Williams. Final Destination 1, vert, or Copy 1. Final Destinations 1 and 2 on a combined DVD. I imagine they'd be separate on, on Blu-ray, so I have two slots saved for one for Blu-ray, the Blu-ray of 1 and one for the Blu-ray of 2. Same with the Blu-rays for 3 and 4, which look at how it combined DVD, individual Blu-ray. Our slots open. And then Final Destination 5. With a slot open for a Blu-ray. Then we have 
finding faith in Christ right here. Finding Nemo on widescreen DVD and full screen DVD. Another DVD copy and another DVD copy. And then I have the Blu-ray with Blu-ray special features. And I have two DVDs of uh, Finding Dory. One of them came in a, blue, in a three disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack. But here are the Blu-ray yeah, disc one and Blu-ray disc two right there. Then we have Finding Neverland with Johnny, or starring Johnny Depp and Kate Winslet. As, and as well as Dustin Hoffman is in it as well. Then all four discs for this show all look the same. They are Firefly the Complete Series. I'll only show the first disc there with a supernova on it. Uh, all four discs look the same. Uh, on DVD, I should say. If I didn't already. And then we have Firehouse Dog. The original Firestarter movie with slots for the 4K combo pack, because I thoroughly enjoyed watching that, starring Drew Barrymore. And then we have the new 2022 remake of Firestarter. Thoroughly enjoyed this one as well, so I have slots for the 4K combo pack. Then we have the first Christmas, like in the scriptures. The first daughter. That one's about the president's daughter wanting to have a normal college experience and it not really going her way because of the Secret Service. Then we have the first man about the uh, moon landing based on a true story. Whether you want to believe it or not, it is a true story about the moon landing. Then we have Five Feet Apart with a slot for a Blu ray, as is the case for Five or First Man for a Blu-ray of both. Then we have The Five Pennies, a Cary Grant movie, I believe. Flashdance with a slot for a 4K combo pack, because I thoroughly enjoyed that one, from 1983. Then we have Flight 93. Haven't watched it yet. I got that one on Thanksgiving 2022. Then we have Flight of the Living Dead Outbreak on a Plane. The zombie is on a plane. How fun is that? That I have watched. Good time, good time. Then we have Flight Plan right here. Flubber. Copy one of Flushed Away, and copy two of Flushed Away, and I have The Fog, that one that star, er, has Tom Welling star, starring in it as well, aka Clark Kent from Smallville. And then we have Footloose, the original, on DVD. With and case six begins with slots for the 4K combo pack for this one. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause here again. And I'll be back um, maybe in about an hour or two. Well, more more like an hour probably, for with um case six, and then we will call it good for this video. But uh, in the meantime, I will see you later when I can finish filming that, or rather you'll you'll see me. <laughs>
um, when I come back and do case six in, like I said, about an hour. Okay, so it's only actually been about 15 minutes since I last was filming. I thought it would take an hour, but it didn't take an hour to do the little task that I had to help Dad with. So case number six here starts off at, with two slots for the, the Blu-ray, or, or the 4K combo pack for the original Footloose. has the DVD for the 2011 version of Footloose. Personally, I like this version better than the original, but the original is still very, very good. Uh, slot for 4K combo pack for that one as well, or two slots, I should say. Then we have Forbidden Planet. This is an, an older movie from 1956, a uh, sci-fi type thing. Then we have Forgetting Sarah Marshall on DVD. features the theatrical R-rated version as well as the unrated version. It's an okay story. Not really my favorite. Uh, and then we have Forrest Gump, disc one and two on DVD with slots for the 4K combo pack. And then we have Fox and the Hound 25th anniversary DVD. Fox and the Hound 2 on DVD. Uh, two live action, even though the, the characters on here on the disc are, are animated. These are two live action Frankenstein movies. I don't remember what or which two movies are, in, are included here, but I'm, I think they're both black and white and live action. Then we have Freaky Friday version 1. Freaky Friday version 2. A slot open for Freaky Friday version 3, which is a musical. And then we have Freaky, a slasher version. And that one has a slot for the Blu-ray and 4K. Then we have Free Guy, again, slot for Blu-ray 4K. Combo pack. Free Way with a, a um, slot for a sequel. Frequency. And we have um, this one, Light of the World, Friends to All Nations. Uh, it had a annoying sticker on, on both discs. Um, both discs look the same, so I'm only going to show disc one. And we have Frosty the Snowman on DVD with a slot for or the return of Frosty the Snow or Frosty's Return or whatever it's called, a sequel. Uh, and then we have a horror movie called Frozen from 2009. This one's a ski lift um, or about a, three friends on a ski lift where, where the ski lift breaks down when they're like, or, or shuts down for the night while they're hanging like 60 feet in the air. And they try and find a way out or fi try and find a way down after like three days in sub-zero temperatures trying to uh, save themselves. Doesn't quite go as planned. And then we have Disney's Frozen, Sing Along Edition. Two regular DVDs. I'll just show the, one of them. The second one came in a Blu ray DVD combo pack, and I recently found out that there's a 4K combo pack for both Frozen 1 and 2. And so I have slots saved for those, but here's the Blu ray for Frozen 1. My first DVD for Frozen 2, Wait, and then I, I got a second DVD, but this is the Blu-ray from the Blu-ray combo pack, with two slots saved for the 4K Blu-ray combo. Then we have The Fugitive on DVD, Fury, this is a World War II story, not it has nothing to do with Nick Fury from the uh, Marvel continuities. Then we have G-Force, Guinea Pig Secret Agents, adorable. Game Night, on DVD. 
as well as Blu-ray. Good movie, good movie. It's a, kind of a murder mystery type thing. Then we have The Game Plan. Um, I'm not going to show the discs for the next um, several items, but I have um, all eight seasons of GOT. If you know what that stands for, you know what or what, what that acronym is, you know, you'll know what that eight season collection is. Then we have Gamer. Gangster Squad. That one's another heist movie, I think. Then we have Galaxy Quest for uh, Star Trek fans. I highly recommend you check this out if you're a Trekkie. Garfield the Movie, live action. Garfield 2, A Tale of Two Kittens, also live action. Gemini Man with slots for the Blu-ray or 4K combo pack. Then we have um, 174th Annual General Conference from April 2004. Disc 1 through 5 all look the same. Then we have general, 176th Annual General Conference, April 2006. All three discs look the same. October 2006, the 19 or the 176th semi-annual general conference. All three discs look the same. The 177th annual general conference from 2007. All three discs look the same. The 179th Semi-Annual General Conference, October of 2009. All three discs look the same. The 180th Annual General Conference, April 2010. All three discs look the same. The 180th Semi-Annual General Conference from October of 2010. All three discs look the same. The 101st annual and semi-annual general conferences, all three discs for this, for the annual look the same and the semi-annual look the same uh, as each other um, from April and October of 2020 or of 2011, respectively. Then we have the 182nd sem or annual general conference from April 2012, all three discs look the same. And all three discs look the same for the semi-annual 182nd General Conference from October of 2012, right there. And all three discs look the same for the 183rd Semi-annual General Conference from October of 2020, or of 2013. I don't know why I keep trying to say 2022 or something. I guess I'm a I guess I look down at the calendar here. It's because today is is May first, twenty twenty three, and so I try and say twenty twenty three when I look at the discs again, and that is not the case. Then we have the hundred eighty fourth annual general conference, April twenty fourteen, right there. Hey, I got it right. What do you know? All three discs look the same, and then the hundred eighty fourth semi annual general conference, October of twenty fourteen. All three discs look the same here. And we have the 185th Annual General Conference, April 2015. All three discs look the same. And the last of the General Conference stuff here is, is the 185th Semi-Annual General Conference, October of 2015. All three discs look the same. Then we have Generation Kill Disc 1 right here. I only have the first disc. I want to try and get the whole collection or the whole series, the whole season or whatever. I don't know how many discs or seasons for that there were, but I look forward to getting them all. 
Then we have Get Smart Season 1. All four discs look the same. And I have the Get Smart movie featuring Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway on the disc itself and I was in the starring roles. Then we have Ghostbusters 1 on DVD and Blu-ray. With a slot for a 4K. Uh, Ghostbusters 2 on DVD and Blu-ray with a slot for a 4K. Ghostbusters 2016 or Ghostbusters Answer the Call. Uh, the female-led Ghostbusters on theatrical DVD and extended Blu-ray with a slot for a 4K. And Ghostbusters Afterlife here on DVD with slots for the 4K combo because I only have an existing DVD copy and want to triple format it. Then we have Ghost in the Shell starring uh, Scarlett Johansson. The bodysuit design used for Scarlett Johansson in, in this movie was also featured in Taylor Swift's Ready For It uh, music video. And I have a slot for a Blu-ray of Ghost in the Shell. Then we have Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Kind of an interesting uh, Christmas Carol style story, but it's not set during Christmas time. A slot for a Blu ray. Then we have Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. I just watched this on, I want to say, Paramount Plus recently. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Glad I have slots for the 4K combo pack saved as well or for this one. As is the case, although I've seen them a couple of times over the years for these first two. Rise of Cobra, G.I. Joe, right there. Slots saved for the 4K combo pack. Same with G.I. Joe Retaliation. I thoroughly enjoy all three of those movies. And then we have Gifted, about a, a child math prodigy, prodigy. Very cute little girl featuring one Captain America as her uncle, Chris Evans that is. Um, he does a remarkable job as, and so does the little girl there. Then we have the girl in the crawl space, a uh, newer horror, uh, is it newer? A 2018 horror movie. Uh, I believe this is an independent release. It's not, it wasn't as good as, as it looked like it would be, but I still enjoyed it. Then we have The Girl Next Door, unrated. The Girl on the Train. I've heard if, if they're basing the, the movie on the book accurately, that it should not have been rated R, but it is. I have slots for the Blu-ray 4K combo pack for that. I think, or no, Blu-ray for Girl Next Door and a Blu-ray for that. One, one Blu-ray for each. That's what it is. Then we have Gladiator, which I think stars uh, Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix. Read just a little bit. Then we have Nomeo and Juliet on DVD and Blu-ray. Cute movie, cute movie. Since it appears to have been in the same continuity, I also I decided to put Sherlock Gnomes in here as well on DVD Blu-ray. Combo pack right there. That's from 2018. And I think this other one was... Um, let's see. Does it say when this one came out? It does not. Okay. But it was like, I want to say early 2000s, I think maybe 2008, something like that. And I have all three of the Godfather movies on DVD. All of them look the same, minus part one. Or this one set doesn't say part one, but it is part one. Uh, the disc for part two says part two and part three. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and show them. Here's part two and part three. 
I got these because in Smallville at one point, Lana Lang and Clark Kent are like, why is it that everyone that's older than us references The Godfather? And so I'm like, huh, I want to get those because they were name dropped in a, in a show that I thoroughly enjoy. Then we have Godsend. Never seen it. Gods of Egypt on Blu-ray with a slot for a DVD. This I did see. It was, it's a pretty good one. Came out in 2016, it looks like. Then we have Gods Not Dead 1 and 2. Uh, there are eight of them in total, I believe. So I have slick, er, slick, six slots open for those. Slick is what K in Men in Black calls J. Keeps calling him Slick or Junior or something like that. Then we have Godzilla 1999 or 1998. This version has Matthew Broderick in it as well as this version of Godzilla right there. And I have a slot for a Blu-ray for that. And a 4K. As well as a Blu-ray 4K for Godzilla Final Wars. This came out in 2004 and was the culmination of 50 years worth of Godzilla movies, which included Godzilla 9, or 99 or 98, whenever, whenever it came out. But this one is more stylized like the, um, the much older Godzilla movies. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, then I have two DVD copies of Godzilla 2014. Um, this one features Elizabeth Olsen and, and Aaron Taylor Johnson as a married couple before they became Pietro and Wanda Maximoff, aka twins, in or the, the Maximoff twins in Avengers Age of Ultron before uh, Quicksilver ended up getting killed by Ultron. Spoiler alert, sorry. Then we have Kong Skull Island on DVD with a, a monkey paw print on it. And then we have the Blu-ray, which has kind of a grid pattern on the back of the disc. Or like the, the background of the disc, I should say. With slots for the 4K combo pack. Then we have Godzilla King of the Monsters. Great, great Godzilla movie. A slot for 4K combo. Then we have Godzilla vs. Kong 1 on DVD. With uh, That would be Godzilla's like sp spine on his back. Or like his protruding spine spikes or whatever. And then disc, the Blu-ray disc has Kong's foot. King Kong's foot on it. With a slot for the 4K combo pack. As well as three slots for the... For the upcoming uh, Godzilla vs. Kong 2, which I'm very excited for. I, I, watched, I saw the trailer for that on Friday, and it looks great. Then we have the Golden Compass. Gone in 60 seconds. That's a Nicolas Cage movie, I guess. At least he stars in it. I have a slot for a DVD of The Good Dinosaur with a Blu -ray, existing Blu-ray. Then we have The, Gr uh, the Good Girl um, right here, which was hard to see because of the glare, my goodness. Um, there. Then we have a Blu-ray for Good Luck Chuck, right here, and she was uh, the Invisible Woman in Fantastic Four 1 and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. And then we have The Goonies, Goosebumps Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Goosebumps the Blob That Ate Everyone. Goosebumps Ghost Beach. Goosebumps A Night in Terror Tower. Goosebumps Scary House. 
And then we have Jack Black starring as R.L. Stein in Goosebumps 1 and 2. Good and good movies. Good movies. Um, Goosebumps it are collections of family friendly horror movies or in a horror TV series that is very, very mild and just kind of mildly creepy. Then we have Introductory Gospel Messages, Our Heavenly Father's Plan, Together Forever, What is Real, Labor of Love, and The Prodigal Son, right here. Then we have Gothica, with a slot for a Blu-ray. That's a horror movie featuring um, a young Robert Downey Jr. and Halle Berry from 2003. And we have Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Gravity on DVD, 3D, or 3D Blu-ray, and regular Blu-ray. I don't really have a use for th 3D Blu-rays because I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player, and that and it 3D Blu-rays only play on that specific player, which really, really sucks. But moving right along, we have... The Great Outdoors, Green Eggs and Hams, Season 1, Disc 1, and 2, then we have The Green Hornet, it's a so-so superhero movie, then we have Gremlins 1, with a slot for a Blu-ray, and Gremlins 2, The New Batch, with a slot for a Blu-ray. Then we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original on DVD, and Blu-ray, with a slot for a 4K, if it even exists. Then we have uh, Jim Carrey's How, How the Grinch Stole Christmas on DVD, with a slot for a 4K combo pack, if there even is such a thing. Then we have The Grinch, with the voice, or featuring the voice of one Benedict Cumberbatch, aka Doctor Strange, or Sherlock Holmes, depending on what you're you're watching, he plays Sherlock Holmes in the series Holmes and Doctor Strange as the titular character in the MCU. I have slots for a Blu-ray and a 4K for that, and then I have three slots open for the Mean One, which is a a um. Grinch slasher movie that should be coming out soon. Hopefully, it, the trailers look great for, or look amazing for that. Then we have Groundhog Day. Great, great movie. Um, time loop thing. Um, I have slots saved for a Blu ray and a 4K of that. Then I have a standalone DVD for Grown Ups 1 and then a combined DVD for Grown Ups 1 and 2 right here. My goal there was to get both movies, and so I succeeded. Then we have the theatrical cut of The Grudge, the unrated extended cut, director's cut of The Grudge 1, uh, with a slot for a Blu-ray, excuse me, Blu-ray, The Grudge 2 theatrical cut, the extended, excuse me, the unrated extended cut, director's cut, for this one looks the same as the DVD as the theatrical cut. So I won't show that one, but I have a slot saved for the Blu-ray. And then a, a two slots saved for or no, three slots saved for the, the theatrical DVD, the unrated director's cut, and a Blu-ray for um, the Grudge 3. And then I have a slot for the DVD of this version of Grudge. This is the a uh, 2020 or no 2020 or, no, excuse me 2019 remake. And so I, I only have that one on DVD so far or on Blu-ray. I mean so far. Good grief! I can't words. And we have Jack Black's version of Gulliver's Travels.
Um, let's see. A 2017 movie called Guardians. I have no idea what it's about, but it looks cool. Then we have Halloween 1 with slots for the 4K combo. Halloween 2, same slots saved as well. Halloween 3, the weakest of the bunch for the main continuity. In my opinion, at least. With still slots for the 4K combo as well. Uh, Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers. 3 is, is subtitled Season of the Witch. Um, then we have Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers. Each of these have slots for the 4K combo pack, so I'm not going to say it every time. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers here. Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Right here, that is the seventh movie in the main continuity. Then we have uh, two more duds in the franchise with Hall Rob Zombie's Halloween 1, which had two discs. This is the unrated director's cut version. Uh, slot for the 4K combo pack again. Halloween 2, or the Rob Zombie version. This one is worse than the first one, I think, and then the first Rob Zombie Halloween movie, I think. Then we, when getting back to the main continuity, we have Halloween 8, Resurrection. Halloween 9 from 2018. Halloween and Halloween Kills uh, uh, with slots for the 4K combo pack. And then I have three slots saved for Halloween Ends because I want to get a DVD and a 4K Steelbook. Then we have Halloween Town 1 and 2, Calabar's Revenge, on, both on the same disc here. Then we have Halloween Town 3, Halloween Town High, as in high school. And Return to Halloween Town, aka Halloween Town 4. Then we have the theatrical cut of Hancock, as well as the unrated cut. I'm not sure what the differences are because I've only seen the unrated version. Then we have uh, 2011's Hannah. Oops. With slots for a 4K combo, I believe. Yes. Or no, just a Blu ray. Uh, there was also an Amazon Prime series. I don't know, remember how long it. it ran for, but there were at least two or three seasons for a series based on the Hannah movie. I, I watched the first season when, er, on Prime uh, back in like 2019 and was quite impressed actually. Um, but as far as I know, it's streaming only, unfortunately. Then we have Hannibal Rising un Unrated. That is a prequel to the uh, Hannibal Lecter movies uh, with a slot for a Blu-ray. Then a slot for a Blu-ray of Red Dragon. Silence of the Lambs, which had two discs here. And that one I have a slot for a Blu-ray saved. This one also had two discs, but they're, they look pretty much the same. That's uh, Hannibal from 2001 it looks like. I have slots for a Blu-ray, or a slot for a Blu-ray for that, as well as for this one, Manhunter. Then I have the theatrical DVD of Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, starring Jeremy Renner as Hansel. I don't remember who plays Gretel, but, but both, both actors did a phenomenal job. And then I have the unrated cut on Blu-ray here for Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters with a slot for a 4K. Then I have Happy Death Day 1 with a slot for a Blu-ray. Happy Death Day to You or Happy Death Day 2 uh, with a slot for a Blu-ray. That was the DVD. Then we have Happy Feet 1 on DVD. 
Happy Feet one on Blu-ray. The disc is transparent. You can see my hand right through it. And we have Happy Feet 2 DVD version 1. I say version 1 because I have two different DVDs. That look, they even look different. Here's the second DVD. And we have Happy Feet 2 on Blu-ray. Happily Never After. Happily Never After 2. Harry and the Hendersons, copy one and copy two, with a slot for a Blu-ray. Then we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, on a DVD, disc one and two, with an existing 4K combo pack, of which here's the Blu-ray for disc one. There's also a second disc for the Blu-ray, which looks like this. And here's the 4K disc. Then we have the same scenario for Harry Potter 2 in the Chamber of Secrets, disc 1 and 2 on DVD. However, there's only one disc for the Blu-ray. It didn't have a Blu-ray special feature disc, which is perfectly fine. But we have the Blu-ray for number 2 and the 4K for year 2. And we have Harry Potter 3 on DVD with a second disc as well for special features, Prisoner of Azkaban. I have not yet gotten a 4K combo pack for that one or the fourth one, but I do have the fourth one on DVD with no special feature disc. Then I have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on DVD and Blu-ray, or, or this is the special features. This is the Blu-ray. Uh, and then I also got the 4K combo pack, which came with another DVD, or, or sorry, another Blu-ray, I mean, and a Blu-ray special features disc right here and here. And here it is on 4K there. And then I have Harry Potter 6 on DVD only so far. I We'll be getting the 4K combo pack semi soon. I haven't, haven't. I want to try and get the rest of the 4Ks in order, so I'm going to try and get three and four maybe next. And then we have Deathly Hallows Part One, Harry Potter Seven Year One Part One or Year Seven, I mean Year Seven Part One, on DVD and Blu-ray. And I think the Blu-ray had a special feature disc, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out in just a second when I paint, turn the page. Yep, it did. Special features on Blu-ray for Deathly Hallows Part 1. Then we have a DVD and a Blu-ray for Deathly Hallows Part 2 here. I have not yet gotten the 4K combo pack for either of those, but will be eventually. Then we have Harry Potter, A History of Magic. This is a short uh, 50 minute presentation that came out in 2018 right here. And then we have Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Return to Hogwarts from 2022. Uh, this th They managed to, to make or finish this before um, Robbie Coltrane aka Hagrid passed away. I have a slot for a Blu-ray save for that. And I also have a slot for a Blu-ray save for The Haunting, starring Liam Neeson. And that is the end of case six. So that will also be the end of this video. We're at, at uh, almost two hours and 40 minutes, if not slightly after that, by the time I hit stop and stop yammering. But uh, here we go. That is the end of this video. Hope you enjoy it, and check back on Wednesday for cases 7 through 13.
We'll have a lot of ground to cover for that. I imagine it will be no shorter than three hours.